Ah, oh, yeah, get pumped, you big bloody dickheads, because we are about to have a cheeky look at Luke Rockhold's finest moments in the UFC. Aussie man's UFC fighter reviews. Fucking explosion. Rockhold has a real curiosity with what his opponents have had for breakfast. He tries to find out by booting them in the guts. If this was me, I would instantly be spewing up me wheat bix. He's like, say good day to your breakfast for me every two seconds. In fact, all of his kicks can break you down piece by piece until you suddenly believe he's kicking you when he actually, he stopped. He's not kicking you. It somehow just fucking feels like he still is. I think he sees all of his opponents as a Lego set that needs to be methodically dismantled and then responsibly put into storage. He's allowed to play with his Lego sets every holidays, but at the end of the holidays he has to break them down and neatly pack them away before he gets into any kind of fucking trouble. Anyway, enough about Lego. Beware of the jiu-jitsu, especially when he puts your head in a bloody guillotine. It's not the most comfortable position to be in. Neither is this one. He's whispering, shh, come on now, teeth and toilet, it's bedtime. No arguments, please, and done. Whoa, what's this? You want to take me down? Okay, no worries. Congratulations. You're the lucky winner of an awkward fucking position. I wonder what will happen if I pull on this or if I put my hand here. Uh, his jiu-jitsu is similar to watching a boa constrictor play with its food. But yeah, no, yeah. When push comes to shove, he has absolutely no worries with getting down and dirty and closing a fight out with a relentless ground and pound. Come on now, teeth and toilet, teeth and toilet, it's bedtime mate, no arguments. And look at this sportsmanship, he's like, so I'll see you on Friday night, I'm gonna make burritos, don't forget the drinks, yeah? Okay, cheers buddy. 